Wyatt. I now recognize Representative Ronnie Jackson of Texas, who's the Vice Ranking Member for the Subcommittee on Africa, Global Health, and Global Human Rights for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, how many members of the State Department were killed in the recent evacuation efforts in Kabul? Members of the State Department uh, killed? Yeah. Uh, none. Okay. Mr. Secretary, in your earlier testimony, you stated that members of the State Department ran into the airport and were serving side by side with the Marines at that gate. Although I deeply appreciate any and all efforts of the State Department personnel on the ground to rescue American citizens, for you to try and ride the coattails of the 13 brave service members that gave their lives in this effort is absolutely shameful in my mind. And it really shows the American people how out of touch you continue to be. I'm not riding anyone's coattails, Congressman. For your information, the men and women of my department were at the gate. That was a statement, gates. not a question. Side by side was a statement, not a question. Secretary Blinken, exactly one week ago, four of my constituents escaped Afghanistan, the first known to leave the country since your administration abandoned American citizens in Kabul on the 30th of August. Your officials left this young mother and her three children behind. The youngest was two years old. The family remained hidden and terrified for 12 long days until my team and a group of brave patriots on the ground facilitated their evacuation. During this time, the State Department did nothing to help this family. Instead, you directed them to go to the Taliban checkpoints repeatedly, where the mother eventually had a pistol placed to her head, and then told them to stay in their homes as the Taliban went door to door searching for American citizens and Afghan allies. All while you were vacationing in the Hamptons and your diplomats were safe in Doha. Then miraculously, after their safe arrival, the State Department jumped in to claim full responsibility for what had happened. The response from your team is revolting. It takes credit from the brave patriots who risked their lives to actually bring my constituents home safely. Mr. Secretary, did you even know of this family's existence until you wanted to take credit for their harrowing journey? Also, can you explain to what your team, exactly what your team did to help them escape Afghanistan? My team has been working 24 seven uh, around the clock and around the world to get every American citizen who wishes to leave Afghanistan and their families out. They've been putting themselves on the line. Uh, they've been putting everything on the line to do that. I very much applaud the efforts that people, including yourself, have engaged in to, to, to do the same thing, to help bring people out. Uh, and I'm glad that we're able to work together uh, to do that, including in this case, where to the best of my knowledge, we facilitated their departure from Afghanistan, including making sure that we worked to get uh, Taliban to allow them to, to leave, as well as working at the border with consular officials to make sure that they could be received when they got to Uzbekistan uh, and cared for. So I'm glad that we were able to do that together. This is not about taking credit. I applaud uh, the work that's been done, uh, including uh, by you. And I hope going forward, uh, we can continue to do uh, even more of that in closer cooperation and coordination uh, to get any remaining American citizens uh, who wish to leave out. Mr. Secretary, well, I, I do thank you. I do thank you for coming to this committee meeting today. I do thank you for staying the extra time so that you could actually hear my my statement and my question. I do have to say that I'm deeply disappointed in your administration's actions and what I consider to be your gross incompetence. Not only did you risk countless American lives by prematurely and haphazardly withdrawing from Afghanistan, but in the aftermath, you have tried to act as if you've made zero mistakes and there's been a continuous effort in the State Department to pat yourselves on the back, which most Americans at this particular point do not appreciate. Your tone-deaf approach and your attempts to spin the truth and claim victory from this clear binder is deeply disturbing. This includes your disgusting attempts to seize credit for this evacuation of my constituents. We will find out later, which I think you had very little, if anything, to do with. You and the rest of the Biden administration owe the American people an apology. You have ruined any trust we have with our allies and any credibility we have on the world stage. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you.